Hi, thanks for taking a look at this poster project of using virtual reality to improve pediatric assessment. My name is Mark Minkler. I'm the EMS for Children Program Manager here in Maine. And I'm gonna kind of give you a little background to what this project is about and what this poster represents. So part of uh, the EMSC performance measures, as we know, is performance measure three, which is the correct use of pediatric equipment. And while we were looking at what equipment and what would be the process for helping to ensure services had the tools to correctly demonstrate the use of this equipment, we discovered that there was a lot less equipment being used than we thought. What we were finding was that every patient was receiving an assessment, but very few required or needed equipment to actually be implemented. So looking at what our greatest needs were, providers talked about how they weren't sure how to assess kids, they were uncomfortable with this, and they had not received extensive education both initially or continuing around presentation of children and decision making with this. So we looked at was there opportunities to do this, and we looked at utilizing mannequins, we looked at using recorded scenarios, YouTube videos, things like that. And what we found was that virtual reality was a neat way to present a patient in a way that providers had never seen before. It was exciting, it was new, and allowed simulation of clinical conditions that we couldn't get a real live patient to simulate, that we couldn't uh, fake or we couldn't reproduce in a classroom or a continuing education setting. So the virtual reality allowed people to enter into this low risk or essentially no risk to the patient scenario and see and hear and be completely immersed in a scenario that involved mainly young children under the age of five and make decisions about that and then receive feedback about their performance, how they did that day, but also track them over long term. So we're just getting underway with this project. We've partnered with three EMS services and a hospital and so they represent about 150 different providers of different levels from physician to EMT. And they're going to use the virtual reality scenarios. And there's approximately 11 scenarios that they can be faced with. And they'll go through the steps of making decisions about what the patient presents at using the pediatric assessment triangle. It will record their performance, takes about 20 minutes for them to do and we'll come back with these partnering agencies and hospital to give them quarterly reviews to see if there's changes on how they perform, if there is increased comfort through an affective survey of how they feel, if they've seen pediatric patients, if they've uh, faced any decisions that this has helped them with. And we're gonna do this over the next year to examine if this has helped in their ability to assess pediatric patients or if it has not changed anything. We're also working with individual services across the state of Maine to do one-off trainings where we come in for typically a training night and let the providers at that service experience this and utilize it, um, but we won't be tracking them as in depth as those initial partnering agencies. So hopefully within a year, we're gonna have some really interesting data to see performance and relate that to uh, providers' comfort level with assessing pediatric patients and see if this technology will help improve the aspects around pediatric assessment. And although it doesn't address an equipment uh, specifically, it does help in the process of deciding which equipment might be utilized during the patient care. So we're excited about this. Um, we're a very rural state, so it, it's difficult to move full-size mannequins across the state. The reality is, is that if you're in Portland, Maine, you can drive to Fort Kent at the top of Maine in about the same amount of time as it takes you to drive to New York City. So the movement across the state and access is important to us. We can ship these across the state, very reasonably cost. And we hope that it'll afford opportunities for people that haven't been exposed to a lot of pediatric patients to improve that so that when they do have to manage a pediatric assessment and pediatric decisions, they'll have more equipment, more experience, and more knowledge to do so. Thanks again for taking a look and uh, enjoy the poster.